Beep, beep. What is up, ninjas? My name is Sam World, and I just got back from playing tennis, so I might look all sweaty and dirty, which I know you like it, but uh, I realized on my way here that I've never made a video on the Pro MB or multi band compression. And on all honesty, guys, I used to be so scared about using it because I've heard so many horror stories from people like essentially telling people don't compress, don't over compress, and whatnot, to the point where I just said screw it at one point. So if I can do it, a Mexican here in the shed, then you can do it as well. Okay, so in order to do this, we are going to be using uh, Fat Filters Pro MB for this, guys. And as always, if you want to support me, make sure to head over to evilsounds.com. Check out my sound design work. The Seaver Volume 2 will be coming out. For those of you guys, you know what it is. You know, you know. And let's get straight into it, guys. So here I have uh, Pro MB opened, and we're going to be utilizing it in order to get this track right here. Uh, in order to sound a little better, right now it's sounding a little dull. Um, the kick, the low end sounds like it's all over the place. It's taking advantage of me. It's Essentially, it knows I'm a little wimp. Uh, so it's just doing whatever the hell it wants. And, and there's so many uh, things that we can fix in this track and just get it to sound a little tighter. So we're going to use Pro MB to salvage what we can. So I like to use Pro MB like this. I like to have a couple of bands. I'm going to have my low band, uh, a mid-low band a mid band and also a high band and then i'm gonna set them up properly right now okay so this again this can go any way that you want it to uh it's all preference at the end of the day but here i'm just gonna solo it and hear the band uh my low band okay next one is the mid low I'm gonna set it around 500, then my mid highs, I'm gonna go up to around 4K. Okay, and then I'm gonna go into my highs. Okay, so once we have that, we can get to work. Now, hearing the song, there's a couple of things I wanna essentially target. The first thing is the low. When we look at it through span, you can see this shit is moving like, like it's just so dynamic. And you know what? There's always people talking about like, yo, you know, preserve dynamics. It's like precious, precious, you know, like the fucking ring. Uh, but a lot of times, guys, you know, in the low end, you want a very tight low end. We need to control it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use here and pull back on the threshold until I feel sort of like the kick and the... And the sub bass or my my, my Tommy bass, uh, Tommy, what's up, G? Uh, it it's, um, feels a little tighter, like more more composed rather than like, you know, sloppy Joe. So we're going to solo. Now, an issue that arises with and the, using the Pro MB from uh, Fat Filter or any multi band compressor is the fact that, as you can see, as I lower it, volume is lost. Check it out. Okay, so a little volume is lost, but what you can see is the kick is essentially getting tamed. Tommy, uh, my Tommy bass is just not taking it anymore, so the kick is kind of getting brought down. So you kind of have more of a stable low end there. So we are going to make it up a bit. Look how loose that is. That thing is just so dynamic. You can see it move. Now we're going to tame it, okay? Okay, so this is where you really want this to, um, again, tame that. The kick is just doom, doom. Uh, so that was an issue I, I felt like needed to be fixed. Uh, I'm going to add a bit more release. And I'm going to increase the look ahead if I can. Just to make sure that nothing gets past my beautiful MB. It's like a bodyguard for me. And that rhymed. Okay, cool. Let's move on to our mid. Okay, uh, so there's a little bit of an imbalance in the dynamics there, as you can hear. That damn vocal is like literally like, duh, duh. 
and it just huge amounts of volume so i'm not going to really go hard on this one uh it doesn't sound that bad however i do want to tame a little bit of the transients on that uh, vocal again a little composure on it Okay, now let's hear so far what we have and we're gonna turn it off and on we don't want it to be like kind of like oh you didn't do shit uh turn it off and on and see what happens So a bit of fix there. Uh, my kick doesn't sound like Godzilla or I was going to say King Kong up in this bit. Uh, so that's a little better. However, these parts here, I feel like we can definitely improve on it a lot. Okay. There's a lot of attack transients there. Essentially the kick, the clap. This thing's already moving without even, yeah, uh, like hitting the threshold. That's due to the knee, I believe. Uh, the, the higher the, or sorry, the, the higher the knee, uh, the softer it gets. So what that means, guys, is that as we approach it, even though we're not hitting that threshold, it's already starting to gradually compress. That, that's what that means there. Uh, so what we're going to do uh, is just pull back on it. Now, so th since there is a little bit of like transients there, I am going to up the attack a bit. And on this frequency, I actually wanted to boost it a little bit more. So I am going to kind of go upwards on. Okay, now let's hear it as a whole. So I like this change, but I feel like we do have to EQ out some nastiness in it. Um, like, uh, essentially, there's like a, a bunch of fucking reverb. It sounds like we're drowning in the Atlantic Ocean, but it's not... You know, the transient on that kick is just like, it's a little like more and the clap as well. So we're going to leave it as is. Now let's focus on the height. Don't want to move that. We're going to go here. Uh, so in this one, the only thing that's really out of hand, as you can hear, is the open hat. Everything like the shakers are there, but they, they really aren't getting any glory. Um, so... Again, I'm going to take this time to increase the volume of this up a bit. So notice how when I have the compression, the shakers just come up a lot more. It's in the stereo signal. Okay, now let's hear the change.
little better there. Now I do have to come in with the dammy Q and EQ out some stuff. So we'll do it after the MB just for the hell of it. However, signal flow is very important, guys. So I probably wouldn't do this. But anyways, I just want to take out a few kind of problematic muddy frequencies. It's going to be one of them. All right, guys, so I have dabbled with EQ a bit. There's still a couple more changes I feel like I can do in the track, and also I need to add more stuff, like maybe white noise or a damn waterfall or me peeing in the toilet to make it sound a little better. But again, let's see what MB has done for us. So what we're going to do is just turn it off and on, and then I'll try and explain what I feel MB is doing for the song, okay? Uh, so I'm going to lower my volume down because you don't want to hear it loud either. Okay, um, so the first thing is the kick. Um, that's like the biggest, biggest, biggest pro that we got from the MB, hence the name Pro MB. The kick is no longer like boom, up, boom, up, like King Kong stepping every foot. B. Uh, it's it's actually a little bit more composure. We didn't lose a lot of volume. See, like I said, the MB. The problem with it is that a lot of people compress on it and then they lose the volume. Uh, so you got to make sure you make it up again. So you can see we are losing volume, so I don't want that to change the, the reason why we are enjoy liking it. So I'm going to boost it up a bit more. <laughs> I love it, man. I love that little change, man. That doesn't... Uh, that is just like overpowered. All right, so that's the first thing. The next thing is that the lead just sounds a little bit more pleasing to hear. It, it has a little bit like it's the weird thing about the lead. It's just there's more life brought into. It's sort of like it gets like cleaner for some reason. I can't explain the reason for that. Why? But the other thing too, if you if you if you hear the kick and also the clap, they get a little punchier as well. So I like that. Now with the highs, obviously the biggest up is that that the highs sound more balanced, way better than before. You know, that open hat essentially is just getting tamed uh, heavily. Okay, and then the mid lows. I hear it more on the piano. So now when we have all that. Way more balanced. Now, there's still a lot more work that needs to be done in the mix just to get a little bit more clarity there. Uh, but I like it. Now, I did add these EQ changes here, which are not the best. I should probably go into the mix and fix it. But just to give you an idea. I don't like that lead uh, frequency. Uh, so that's why I have that there. I'm boosting the leads more in the sweet spot you can you know that's the lead sweet spot because when you boost it up it just sounds really pleasing to hear there's nothing harsh about it and it's where a lot of the meat of that vocal lead is um, and then uh, a little bit of the highs I just want to make sure I'm not getting too damn fucking loud with this, so... It's 
see if we can clamp down on the leads a bit more. Now let's make sure that we played in other parts of the track just to make sure that MB doesn't really mess anything up. Not bad. Introduction. With it off. Wow, like that just... Notice how the MB brings up the, the atmosphere a little more. Off. Let's turn it on. On the second loop. It's like magic, baby. guys if i had that damn eq which are the fixes i need to make very clean very clean there are little difficulties in the track though because that lead uh it, it's gonna be a vocal chop that was sampled so there is a bit of issues uh trying to fix that damn vocal chop but for what it is it does not have bad it sounds fucking clean as hell but anyways, guys, that's how I use the Pro MB. Again, like I said, if I can do it, hopefully, you know, seeing a Mexican uh, do it, um, then hopefully it gives you the confidence to also do it yourself. Again, the most important thing is going to be not to fuck up your, your frequency balance. And if you are going to mess it up, make sure it's for the better. Let's say, oh, I need more highs. And just boost through here if you have to, or you can boost with any Q afterwards like I've done. But other than that, have fun with it, guys. And I'll catch you guys next time. If you want to support my channel, evilsounds.com. Take care.